We're over here with the folks from McPherson Crop Management. Andy Demo is with us today. And Andy, been a while since we've caught up with you. I know Lynn talked to you some months back, but hey, I think there's touches of uh, maybe spring out there now, and uh, we got some things to be thinking about. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, we've had some really nice weather here, of course, the last 10 days after that brutal cold stretch. I was just looking up at the Research Center website. We went 16 days in a row where we didn't make it above zero. So it was a pretty incredible stretch we had there in February. But, you know, stuff's thawing out good now. I talked to a tiling guy yesterday. They're out mudding around looking for some tiles. So um, we're moving along pretty quick here. I actually talked uh, with, with someone who said they, they heard that there was somebody south, or I'm sorry, north of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, that was actually out doing some spraying because it's been so dry and no snow over there that they could actually do that. Yeah, I think I think we might see some of that around here. Maybe not spraying so much, but uh, putting some fertilizer on. You know, I've talked to a couple guys that didn't get their P and K on. You know, last fall, um, that thought when the grounds froze, maybe in the morning of going out there now once once the snow's off and and blowing that on there, and it's as good a time as any to do it. You know, instead of mudding it up in the spring. Managing our uh, our crops and our fields and all our our inputs into the spring. Here we're in early mid March. What should folks be kind of thinking about here in the next steps as far as what they need to do? Right. You know, fortunately, as you remember, we had a really nice November and December. So um, a lot of nitrogen went on that probably wasn't even planned last fall. And, of course, P&K along with that. So I don't think guys in general have a lot of spring fertilizer work to do. Um, but, you know, there's still all kinds. Of, so, But hopefully they can get that stuff done if need be. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's always the things of cleaning up line fences and picking up rocks and and uh, just getting everything ready so when we're ready to go here in April, hopefully with planting, we can we can get going right away. And um, now as far as uh, scouting the fields and, and this kind of thing, should they be talking to people like you, uh, McPherson Crop Management now, and, and maybe booking uh, time this summer as, the, as, the season, as we get into the season so that they know that you'll be able to work with them? Yeah, we always like to have stuff planned ahead, of course, if we can, uh, to get our labor situation all figured out and things. And, you know, every year is different, right? That's right. the fun part about farming. Uh, with an early spring, potentially, maybe we'll have earlier weed flush than normal um, where guys might have to, you know, change their pre-emergence or, or pre-plant incorporation plans with, with spraying and things. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. But, yeah, absolutely, if uh, if uh, guys are thinking they might need some help in, uh, during the year this year, we're, we're ready to, to talk to them and, and get the plan put together. Phone number and website. Uh, phone number here is 507-234-2224. And uh, mcmfarmworks.com is our website. And, uh, yeah, office is open from 8 to 4.30, so whenever it works. Get a hold of Andy and the team over here at McPherson Crop Management. If you have questions or uh, concerns going into the spring planting season, they'd be happy to help you.